So we're back home and this is what I'm actually installing today. We got this wing from YCP Aero Squad. Um, just came in the mail a couple days ago and I have it mounted up right now just with the jack holding the center section up. And you can see just some masking tape holding it. This is not duct tape, this is just regular masking tape in black. So it doesn't leave residue, but it still holds it nice and strong. Um, essentially the way that these are supposed to be mounted or how they want you to mount it underneath this tape. Let's see if I can feel it. Uh, there's a few sections where there are holes, pre-drilled holes. And um, I think there's one right here. I want to say there's like four across the whole thing. Here's one right here for sure. And essentially what they want you to do is uh, make holes into your trunk and then secure it once it's level in the sense of that corner to that corner being correct, uh, the depth on both sides. And then they have these bars with little angle uh pieces right there so i'm pretty sure that's how they would want you to do it basically have it support the wing right there and then have it go down to the bumper but i don't like that because the honda bumpers are very flimsy and right now i have it mounted with zip ties on the corner and then it has a couple studs going from the bumper support into the body and it gets the job done but i feel like if you do it just with two rods which are supplied with the kit from the wing down to the bumper you're gonna have issues now the the main uh, benefits of having a wing is basically channeling the air that's passing the car to create turbulence in this case with a wicker to then allow downforce on this side of the wing and then allow the air to channel straight on this side and then straight over here either catch or not catch depending on what kind of wing you have and um, I feel like when those people or some people with similar style wings mount it to flimsy hardware like this you're not going to get the full effect of what the wing needs to do. So if you think about, like I said, the action of the air, the air needs to create pressure here and it needs to transfer that pressure down through the wing, hard mounted to the chassis. So then the chassis can have the flex or it can have the downforce applied that you'd want the wing to create. Now, if you have this all flimsy, as soon as you have any air pressure right here, this is just going to cave downwards if you don't mount it rigid. And then you're basically going to lose uh, the turbulence or the aerodynamic benefits that you would want to have with one of these wings. Uh, you see some people, they launch and the, the wing flaps or they shift and the wing is starting to go up and down. It, it just, it's not the ideal situation of what you'd want a wing to do. So that being said, I went to Ace and I picked up some more uh, material to make some other brackets. This is just some L aluminum and um, like 90 degree angled stuff. This isn't my favorite way to do this. A lot of uh, race companies will do steel uh, brackets with adjustable rods, but I think this is gonna be fine. We're gonna add multiple points. This is just a regular tube of aluminum, and I'm gonna cut basically short rods, maybe about to right there. And we, what we wanna do, or what I wanna do, is have the outsert, outside part of the lip of the wing attach down to this piece which is harder mounted to the chassis it still uses studs and nuts to get held onto the chassis but it's metal and it's not as flimsy this is very rigid to the body so i want pieces of metal going right there to right there i think i'm going to do about three of them to hold up the center section and this is kind of off to the side i'd like to have at least one tether from here to here or this is probably okay to help um, have it mounted closer to the chassis with doing it to the bumper. But if possible, I'd like to have it all tied into this section. I think if we do it like that, plus the holes on the top that it asks us to put, it should be pretty good. So I've got the angle somewhat of what I'm going to want that wing at. And you can see that um, it's a little elevated. I kind of want it to follow the body line, but I still want the wicker to take effect but it's gonna squish down with the hatch once it's drilled in. So here are the points. They're kind of indented in the tape of where it needs to be drilled to the actual uh, body, which is gonna be to the hatch. And that's just gonna be the alignment. And the way that I figured of where I want it, basically I got it to the similar location on both sides of the tail light for the visual aspect of it. I think that that's what best suits this body line. And then I used measurements from this end of the wing to the anchor points on the hatch this end on this side to that anchor point right there and they're within about an eighth of an inch now i'm going to do the center pilot points and then once i have that bolted in i can take the tape off keep it on the jack and then do some 
quick measurements to make sure that it's all still good. But yeah, essentially what we're gonna do is basically bolt this top section of the wing to the hatch and then the hatch is going to support the main side, the main weight of it, and then we can go to actually mounting it up with the rods. <laughs> Now this little bolt that I'm putting in is just a hair bigger than the pilot hole that I just drilled. So it's gonna have some tension. It's almost creating a thread, but it's into carbon. It's not gonna like keep a thread. I just kind of want it to locate. And then I can take the next section. I want it to kind of hold the wing down. Um, there's these little tools that people who rivet a lot of things, especially in race car panels, forget the name, but I'll insert it right here. Um, those are really good because it keeps the tension of what the actual product or unit is going to be held down with so I'm kind of trying to mimic that That's not too shabby. So we have one, two, three, four, and five bolts securing the top flap of the wing. And um, you can see that it is pretty much flush with the hatch itself. Um, I should have moved the tape as I did right here on the other holes. That way I could just peel it off easily. But um, you can see that this supports most of it. Now there's still some slack right here. And I think that I can fill that in. Um, I'd like to have this as close as possible and if that requires maybe adding some additional holes and um, Some more bolts then I might just go ahead and do that or if I can just fill it in with like some filler That would be fine, too, but uh, is that a little tape residue? Uh, looks like a little bit of the paint was coming off, but this will eventually get wrapped. So I'm not too worried about that This is why I didn't want to use anything like duct tape because duct tape peels a lot more stuff that it adheres to than just this regular masking tape. So always use tape that's not gonna leave residue or a light, easy release tape. So here we are fully supported by those two rods and they are very sturdy on the corners but the center still has a little bit of deflection. Um, I don't think it'll be anything concerning, but once we get up in speeds, we'd prefer this not to be there. So I'm gonna use some of that rod that I picked up over there, as well as that angled aluminum bracket, and I'm gonna make a center bracket, so that should tie it in really well. Um, as for the side pieces, I just mocked this one back up right there. I'm tripping over stuff, obviously, and I think this is gonna look really good. I only have two of the bolts kind of just uh, finger tight right there, but. Once that's tightened down, I think it's going to look really nice. Um, I'm debating whether I need to make support rods from the side pieces to the inside, but we'll figure that out once we uh, actually get to that section of it. As for how this tied in, this was really good. Just two bolts right there. And I don't know what's going on with my autofocus, but there we go. Two bolts right there goes through the top and then two bolts right here. And I actually added rib nuts to this piece right there and um, it makes it really structurally strong. So there's no movement right there, like I said. And uh, eventually what I wanna do, I wanna get rid of this rod and do a Heim jointed rod, preferably something steel. That way, if we want to add a little more angle or a little less angle, depending on what we're doing, or just for adjustability and easy removal, then we can do that. The aluminum is gonna hold up okay, but it's not the end goal. It's not gonna be what's gonna be the preference there. So this is fine for now. I'll go ahead and start working on a center brace and then I can finish installing the side pieces. Yeah, so that's it for the install. Um, I guess other loud cars in the neighborhood. 
Anyways, yeah, that's it for the install, guys. I added the secondary rod right here. Uh, there was still a little bit of flex like we looked at earlier, and this really made it a lot more rigid. And you can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can shake the whole car off this wing. So this is exactly what we needed, something nice, rigidity, um, wise as well as quality wise and we're really happy with this now there's something else that i need to do i want to end up making a bracket from somewhere in the center section you heard that right damn loud cars i want to do something from the center section tethered either into this rod or also on this section right here just to add a little bit of the strength on this side especially um, it has a little bit more play than i'd like and this at high speeds it can kind of create an air pocket down there although it's not a lot just for peace of mind, I want to have this tug, tugged onto the body a little bit more. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this, and I can't wait to make it to the track and see if we feel any stability differences. Now, ideally, I'd love to have shock travel sensors and other sensors to be able to dial in with and without the wing to see what actual difference the suspension is feeling, but that's a lot more advanced, and I don't have those type of sensors. Um, but yeah, it'd be goal cool one day in the future to do something like that and really be able to dial in stuff like this arrow wise but yeah guys that sums up the video for today we were going to go to the track tomorrow but unfortunately with the hurricane and whatnot it laid down a lot of water now we got lucky we're in sanford there wasn't a lot of damage here almost no tree damage just a lot of wind and rain last night but uh, the track is going to be saturated with a lot of water and we won't be able to make it out there so hopefully soon we'll be out at the track testing stuff out, having fun and running new numbers. I'd like to do some stuff uh, to dial in maybe a class for FL2K and it'd be really cool if we can go out and compete. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.